Look how look all him. Look how gashy get. Look how dot dot. Look how hitoshin. Look how. That look how. Sit that look how that you. Look how cow. Look all him. Canyons of the Ancients National Monument was designated by Presidential Proclamation in 2000. It's located in the southwestern corner of Colorado, just west of Cortez and Dolores. We're kind of at that location, the high desert, right before you hit the Rocky Mountains, so it's a very, very diverse region that we have. The monument's 176,000 acres. Canyons of the Ancients National Monument may be one of the best representatives for the concept of national conservation lands where we could look at both those resources that we use as well as those things we want to protect and to see could we do those different types of uses together. 80% of the monument is leased for CO2 development and oil and gas, and it's been an active CO2 development field. So we have been able to manage that extraction and avoid all archeological sites. Recreation is one of the many uses uh, that exist out here in this really rugged landscape. Backpacking is one of the opportunities that people can really take advantage of here in this isolated location in the backcountry. There are great opportunities for mountain biking in the monument, no matter your skill level, and we do have some great trails. There are so many places that you can see. Horseback riding is a really popular pastime on the monument, and you really get that sense of the Wild West when you're out there. When you're looking at that paradigm and trying to figure out how all those things can be done in concert, um, it does take a lot to do that, but I really believe that it can be done. In Montezuma County, we have Mesa Verde, we have Hoven Weep. We have opportunities for people to go and visit very developed sites. And some people feel really safe in that environment. Well, Hoven Weep National Monument um, was designated in 1923. I mean, when you look at the sites, we're looking at incredible examples of the masonry that the ancestral Puebloans were able to build here. We have stonemasons today who come here and cannot believe that these structures are not only still standing, but how impeccably made they are. Uh, Mason Verde National Park was established by the president in 1906. It was the first park of its kind, national park of its kind, that commemorated the works of ancient man. It provides an entire, a very comprehensive view of how the ancient people, how those ancestral Puebloans occupied the area. But other areas such as uh, Canyons of the Ancients provide a more solitary um, experience in, in a less uh, structured environment. What we have here is an opportunity for you to visit some developed sites um, where there's some interpretation, but the big experience that we can offer that other units cannot offer is the opportunity to discover this place for yourself. Come out, have your own adventure, uh, really get close to what the resource is and understand why it's important for that resource to be protected. This place is amazing. We came out here because it's off the beaten path. It's sort of out in the middle of almost nowhere with all this country around us. And it's a great place to explore. And it's not overrun with people. It allows you to really feel the place. You get a sense for maybe what it was like to live here. Well, when I first came to the Canyon of the Ancients National Monument, I was really blown away by the history of it. I really want to be able to go and explore for myself. I don't want people to tell me exactly how to take my trips and where I, where I go. But as an American and as someone very interested in the history of the land where I come from, there's not a lot of places I can go and have that intimate connection in a non-curated sense. It's also one of the most archaeological studied landscapes in the country. It's a really amazing place. Uh, you can. Uh, feel here the past, you can touch the past, and uh, there is the 
direct connection between the past and the present. I think it's a great opportunity for my students to come here to study these ancient structures face to face. These buildings, uh, these places are so connected to modern Pueblo people. This was actually a pathway to a group of Zunis who were migrating north. Uh, they were called Sewekwe. This was an excellent stopping point and, um, and a place to uh, utilize the resources out here that created sacred space. A lot of sacred spaces were built. The kivas are um, evidence of that. The essence is still here and its roots and it's strong and it will always remain here. The history of this region is so full of the cultural aspects, clear from Paleo-Indian people who lived here prehistorically uh, to current times. So this is a homeland to many Puebloan people who still consider this important for contemporary cultures. It's part of our history. It's where we came from. It's who we are. These places are special to me because it's me, <laughs> it's who my people are, it's who I am, it's what I identify as, as a Shiwi native. Being here, it makes me feel good inside, it makes me, it makes me happy. It's almost as if the wind, the breeze is your ancestors talking to you, telling you you're here, you're home now.